Ever since I was buying or working and buying my own socks, I've worn odd socks. And this is one of those things that some people get really spun out about, they can't handle it. Some people think it's just weird and some people love it. And it's kind of become a bit of a motif for me, although I've stopped wearing them when I do training because at home doing like handstand stuff and things or like doing work, uh, any exercise up against the wall, I tend to get different colored marks all over the wall and I keep getting in trouble with Danny about that, so I've had to stop. <laughs> So generally I buy socks in multi-packs so that I get the same ones in different colours. I don't generally like plain coloured socks because that limits the fun. My sock drawer is basically a crazy drawer full of patterns and colours. Um, but I don't mind if that's all that's available and the problem with it is, especially seeing as I've switched from wearing normal kind of socks to these tiny little sports type ones is there aren't lots of these that come in patterns so this was the most extreme pattern I could find this time round <laughs> which I mean come on that's embarrassing so I always try and buy ones that are all different colors I don't try I try not to repeat colors so I got close I got quite close this time look so we've got blue like a dark blue and a navy Pff, that's close that's too close. So I will obviously never wear those two socks together. I've also never owned, never owned a pair of plain white socks. So this is completely new for me. And obviously I'll never wear them as a pair. I did have one other pair that were quite similar. Oh, they're not that similar. Like a red and a dark red. This is like a corally kind of pinky red. Like a bit of that. Definitely can't wear these on the wall. So I'll generally try and wear socks that kind of go with what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing like gray, black, stripy ones and dark red shirt. So today I'm just gonna go with gray and red. But usually I try and go for a bit more like contrasty and a bit more interesting. And I know this makes it seem like I think a lot about what socks I wear, but that's not really the case. I just open my sock drawer, there's loads of colors there and it's like boom, boom, done you know it's a it's like a 10 second thing uh including getting to the drawer opening them and putting the socks on but there are like there are decisions involved obviously <laughs> i'm not not an anarchist and then bam socks done so yesterday i got what's this one the creatine and i got the aminos essential amino acids delivered so I need to be I'm gonna be having these in the morning basically as a calorie free way of providing myself with all the essential amino acids and a bunch of energy from the creatine I'm also going to use it to mix down my ketones but the ketones are disgusting as are the creatine and essential amino acids they're all very bitter so what I'm going to do to keep it zero calorie is have it with an espresso so it's going to be like a cold espresso bitter mess now i don't want to have it with too much water because i don't want to have to drink it for too long so what i'm going to do is just whack it in about 150 ml of water in a shake and hopefully it's going to be bearable <laughs> It's kind of fun. Kind of from the top, it looks a bit like a cappuccino. Um, it's nice that it's got a little split that just kind of makes it a bit more interesting. But to be honest, it's functionally has no purpose. So, shake. 
Hopefully this isn't too bad. Bottoms up. I made a terrible mistake and the ketones have calories so that means next time that I do this I basically skip the ketones and just chuck the um, essential amino acids and the creatine in and then later in the day I can have the ketones like around lunchtime but for now I've broken the fast anyway so I'm just gonna have nice mushroom coffee with loads of coconut oil to kind of keep me in that ketogenic state Right guys, so the agenda for today, I basically have the Gymshark live stream later and so I've got to do all my stuff before that. I need to do, what do I need to do today? I need to make a video for the state pool for the cryptocurrency thing. So that's one thing I've got to do and realistically I need to do something for more than lifting as well, my personal training business. Um, I also need to edit I need to edit little clips out of the vlog so far so I can promote it because yesterday I set up a personal Instagram and Twitter account, which I've never had. I've never had personal ones. I've only used them for my business or businesses. So, uh, yeah. So I kind of need to put some stuff on that Instagram account. Uh, I'm going to do loads of little clips of the vlogs so that I can use that as a platform to promote them going forwards as well as using, doing the same for Twitter. All right, guys. So we gotta go and get some eggs for lunch because we didn't, we don't, we couldn't get any, could we? When we were no, shopping? we couldn't get the nice ones. So we're going for a little lunchtime stroll down the road. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I am. Off we go. Right guys, so just setting up for another episode of the podcast and then I've got some more editing to do, I've got some social media stuff to do and I've got two other videos, blimey, I've got loads to do, two other videos to get sorted as well. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> right, so this camera just ran out of battery on me in the middle of my podcast, so I'm going to have to redo it tomorrow now basically incredibly frustrating i finished doing the one on instagram at least so it's out there but yeah it's a bit of a nuisance that i'm gonna have to redo the live stream tomorrow i i danny suggested just doing it now but to be honest with you i've got other things to do i don't really have the energy to just like say the same stuff over and over again so i'm just gonna come out fresh tomorrow and uh, revisit <laughs> episode 98 of the more than lifting podcast <laughs> right guys so i use co-schedule for my social media stuff so if you don't know what co-schedule is it's basically a glorified calendar and each thing you have your different things that you post in and blah 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 like it's, it's quite self-explanatory so like here is um, something that i'm posting you can't see it but it's just by here i'm actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna help you see it so basically how this works is I can't change that while I'm doing my thing. But if I zoom, does zooming help? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, look at that. Genius. So each of these little things, each of these little things is, is a post. And like this one is one I'm putting on Twitter, which is to promote episode one of the vlog. And I can kind of add videos, you know, I can go in here, I can upload stuff, I can add videos that um, I've already uploaded and I can do the same with images and I can add one or multiple. And one of the good things about CoSchedule is you can resend. So it's got this re thing here. And what that means is I can actually resend like the same thing. So a lot of social accounts wouldn't, it wouldn't be kind of, uh, it wouldn't make sense 
but I can do it on like Twitter, which is a platform where it does make sense to be sending like the same message multiple times over the course of like an extended period of time, not just like three or four times a day. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically, what I've done is I've put like a bunch of stuff in for the vlog, like I sn cut loads of little clips and snippets out of the, the vlog episodes that I've published so far. And what I've done is I've uploaded them in here to then promote through the Reese Thomas Morgan Instagram. That's my Instagram account, guys, my personal one. So go and check that out and uh, give us a little follow. Um, and also on Twitter to help promote the vlog off of YouTube and actually try and get it in front of some people. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing. I've been doing the same for the More Than Lifting Instagram today and I need to do some for Stoic, but um, basically between doing all the videos and then doing these for, for the channels that I've done, um, I haven't had enough time to do a bunch for Stoic as well. Normally I try and do enough so that there's stuff going out all week and I don't need to come back to it multiple times. I prefer just to do it once and then just have stuff go out automatically. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been able to do that for Stoic yet. I've got the Gymshark live stream in half an hour, which means I now need to get ready for that. So I'm not going to have time to sort that out either. However, I've still done a lot today. It's still been a very productive day. And yeah, even though I had a bit of a disaster with the podcast, <laughs> but still positive. Things have been moving along great. I need to go and set up for this now. I need to go and sweat it out for an hour. It's going to be really intense. I'm actually like half asleep at the minute. So I need to like, and maybe have a, uh, have a coffee or something beforehand. <laughs> oh guys, if you haven't, seen the Gymshark live streams yet, go to twitch.tv slash Gymshark and check out the ones. They have, I think, 60 days worth uh, of backlog. Uh, they've only been doing it once a week, but that's still like four or five weeks worth of workouts. You can go and join in. You can see what I've been getting up to. Two, uh, two weeks ago, I messed up some of the exercises right at the beginning and <laughs> everyone was having a good laugh about it. So you can go and laugh at my expense there. I'm quite happy for you to go and do that. Um, go to twitch.tv slash Gymshark. Oh, and join the live ones every Wednesday, 5 p.m. I'll see you then. <laughs>